Hello doctors, good afternoon, welcome back to our classes, Dr. Swarna Balaji, online Ayurvedic classes. Today's topic is fracture. Most of the fine layers or else in general also, the fractures is a most vast subject which you have to learn in detail. But for examination point of view, you have to concentrate on specific points. In this session, I'll give you the important headings which you have to present in your exam paper. And this are the headings which you have to definitely know regarding this fracture. In your viva point of view also, they may ask the stages of healing. At that time, you have to mention what are the stages of healing. For that, you have to listen this video. Listen this video twice or thrice. Attend your examination. If it is asked fracture means elaborate all the headings which is going to be said by me then you will get definitely a good score. Firstly you have to concentrate on definition. The fracture. What is a fracture? What is the definition which is given for it? You have to mention that. Later on classifications. There will be a many classifications. Among them you have to pick up what were the easiest thing for you and you have to present in brief in your examination point of view. You have to elaborate based on marks and your time. If it is asked for a short answer means you can write the names itself. It will be enough. And if it is asked for an essay answer means at that time you have to elaborate each and every type. So that you will fill your page and there will be a scope for the examiner to give you a good score. Next, what are the causes? For a fracture, what were the causes? You have to concentrate on them. And finally, healing. You have to concentrate on stages of healing as it is an important for exam and viva point of view also. Firstly, definition. A fracture is a break in the continuity of a bone. I have made a diagram regarding that bone. There will be a point which is mass marked. In that, there will be a break. It is considered as a fracture. A fracture is a break in the continuity of a bone. Next, move on to classification. What are the classifications? There will be a lot of classifications if you go through the fracture classifications. I will give you the simplest form among all of them. First of all, closed and open fractures. What are closed fractures? In this type of fracture, the fracture point will not have a communication with the external environment like skin and soft tissues. Okay. But in open fracture, the complete opposite thing. There will be a communication between the fracture point and external environment. That is skin and soft tissues. This were the elaborate terms regarding the closed and open fracture. Move on to second type. Simple and complex fracture. Simple fracture is the one which is easy to treat. And it is a fracture in two pieces. Usually easy to treat. Complex fracture. A fracture in multiple pieces. Usually difficult to treat. Next, move on to second type. Closed and open fracture. A fracture, as I already said, which is not having any communication with external environment. An open fracture is a completely different thing. Uh, which is having a communication with external environment like skin and soft tissues. If it is asked for an essay answer means like this, you have to elaborate. Or else if it is for a short answer means at that time, you can mention the classification names. Simple and complex, open and closed, like that. Okay, next. Move on to third type of classification. Transverse and oblique fractures. Transverse fracture. The fracture line is perpendicular to the long axis of the bone. In an oblique fracture, the fracture line is oblique. By the name itself, you can guess what is the uh, elaboration for that type. For, uh, and if you want to give example means, for a transverse fracture, example will be a fracture which is caused by a bending force. And in an oblique fracture, there will be a fracture which is caused by a bending force which in addition has a component along with that bending force. Okay, next. Move on to fourth type. What is it? Single and multiple fractures. By the name itself, you can guess the elaboration of that type. Single fracture is, there will be a one fracture either in the same bone or else 
indifferent. Multiple fracture is the one where you can see multiple fractures within the same bone or else in a different bones. Okay. By this we are done with the classifications. Next move on to causes. What are the causes? For every disease or a deformity there will be some causes. You have to elaborate them in your examination. Firstly what are the causes of fractures? Trauma. Any accident may cause a fracture. Next pathological fracture means any diseases may cause such as rickets, osteogenesis imperfecta, osteoporosis, hyperparathyroidism, osteomalacia. These were some of the causes which cause this fracture. Next, any inflammatory diseases like tubercular osteomyelitis and benign and malignant tumors may also cause this fractures. Next, in general osteogenesis imperfecta and osteoporosis will cause this fracture. And the unique thing which you have to mention is stress fracture. Repetitive stress will induce a fracture because it will damage a break. It will cause a break in bony trabeculae. By that stress will cause a fracture. Next. By this we have done with our causes. Healing of fracture. If it is asked in viva point of view means you can say stage of hematoma, stage of granulation tissue and stage of callus formation, stage of new bone formation, stage of remodeling. Okay. These were the five stages of healing which will be seen in this fracture. If you are writing in your examination means at that time you have to mention the time period along with that stage. Stage of hematoma will be seen in less than 7 days. Stage of granulation tissue will be seen up to 2 to 3 weeks. Stage of callus formation for 4 to 12 weeks. Stage of new bone formation will be seen for 1 to 2 years. And stage of remodeling will be seen for many years. By this we are done with our healing processes that is healing stages of this fracture. By this session we have given a complete details regarding this fracture and if it is asked in examination point of view means you have to elaborate based on the marks and based on your time. Okay. If it is for a short answer means you can simply write the stages itself, names itself and classification also you can mention the names. But if it is asking for an essay answer means at that time you have to elaborate each and every classification as I have given you the definitions of each and every classifications and in the stages of healing also you have to mention the time period along with that particular stage. And if you still have a time, still have a sufficient time means, you have to mention at the last of your answer, Bhagna. And I have given you what to be written in case of Bhagna in the previous video. I will provide you the video link of Shalya Tantra and Bhagna in the description box. You can refer that video if you are interested in writing the Ayurvedic part also. So, what you have to do is like our video, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to our channel for more and more updates. In the next classes, I will give you the colis fracture and different types of fractures and fluid and electrolyte balance, acid base balance like that. Some of the topics which is tough to learn by you. Okay. So what you have to do is like our video, subscribe our channel for more and more updates.